Welcome to the Bearded Barbarian! Welcome everybody, welcome to today's video. Here it's a scary night in Virginia, the thunder and the lightning. Hopefully we won't lose power. All right, so what do we got going on today? We are going to be opening a mystery box. That's right, it's a mystery box, finally. I hunted one down and actually captured one. They are very elusive nowadays. However, I was able to get one, okay? so. Uh, we will be opening this cool Spasta Collectibles mystery box, okay? We'll talk about that after I eat a really crappy jeans bean. I was gonna say jeans, bean. All right, mm. let's see what kind of a crappy, nasty bean I can eat here. Uh, I'll try to find a really gross looking one. There's a brown one. Could mean a lot of things. Did they put poop in here? Man, that's gross. I don't think they put poop in them. I've never eaten poop, but I'm imagining this is what it tastes like. It's probably not. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a vomity one, but it was brown. I don't know. Gross. Really, really gross. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about our mystery box. This, as I said, was a, is a Spastic Collectibles mystery box. This one is called, it's got a very long name, hang with me here, Sheldon's Guaranteed Value Blind Box Grail Party Hunt. Note to Spastic Collectibles, shorten the title and make it more whimsical. So, as it says in the title, Sheldon Cooper is the top hit. That's the one we are looking for, a cool uh, Big Bang Theory Sheldon Cooper pop. Um, in this particular box, there are four pops in a box. There were 95 boxes in this particular run. It cost us $80 and then about $10 shipping. So the good thing about it is it's entirely guaranteed value. So I should get at least $80 in here. Now, obviously the values of pops change quite a bit. So we'll see if that actually turns out, but that's the theory anyway, okay? So um, hopefully you'll, you'll you know be able to get something really good. Go ahead and check out the picture right here. Um, and see which ones you think I'm going to get. Uh, I'll give you two seconds to decide which one am I going to get. All right. Now let's take a look and see what we got. The box is a little banged up. The, the postage man obviously wasn't very happy with me for whatever reason. So let's see how we did. So we're hoping for some good stuff. Um, you know, I, I don't know. So I haven't gotten anything really good out of a mystery box in a while. Of course, I haven't had a mystery box in a while, so there's no telling how that works. So I'm going to just sort of feel around in here. Uh-oh, I feel a box top popped open. means like there could be some damage in here. That's never a good sign. Let me see if I can feel. Come on. All right, I feel one knot in a protector with the top popped open here which isn't good. Sounds like we might have gotten some damage. Um, I feel one in a pop plastic protector and three not a protector. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is set them down here and I'll pull them out one at a time. Let's see what we got. First one's first. What did we get besides a damaged pop? Darn you! It's a Squirtle anyway. Who cares? Who really cares? Pokemon pop, oh uh, brother. But as you can see, there's a little bit of damage here from shipping. That's not ideal. But if it could happen to anything, it could happen to this. So stay tuned at the end of the video and we'll do a uh, figure out what the values are of the pops too. What do we got next here? Uh, next one is what? Bob's Burgers. But loose Tina. But loose Tina. I actually got another Bob's Burger pop. I'm not really into Bob's Burgers specifically. Um, so this one might have some value, but the last one actually did, so I was sort of surprised, but yeah, not really what I was looking for out of that one. So let's see what else we got going on here. All right, what else did we get? We got the child. Everyone got the child. This is a different one than I normally got, but again, box damage. I got some box damage right there in the corner. Yeah, that's not great. 
Got a pop that um, I wasn't really looking for. And it has box damage. Not great. All right, last one. This one at least isn't a protector, so hopefully it'll be protected. What do we get? We got Dwight Schrute, the FY exclusive. And he's wearing the uh, CPR mask. I have this one, but I have the one that's the specialty edition, I believe. Um, and that one's cool. This one's a cool one. This one is a cool one, but I do have this one, but it should definitely have some value. So let's take a minute and see what we found out um, for our values, and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So we did a little bit of research on our various pops here, and it's about what I expected. Um, we, we basically came out right, right at value for the most part. Uh, first one is our Pokemon one. It came damaged anyway, so I guess this, of all the ones that are really damaged, um, this one is $9 pop. It's not worth $9 because the box is damaged, so... Um, so there's that one. And then we had our, our, um, the child pop. And I don't have this one. Most likely I'll take this one out of the box. I have one out of the box and one of the other ones still in the box. But this one, since it's damaged, will come out of the box. It's worth 22 value, shockingly. I didn't think it would be. This is the sad-faced, um, child. Okay. Um, the next one is our, um, Tina Belcher, butt loose Tina. Um, I have a Karen Belcher, uh, so I have Linda. Linda Belcher. Okay, some other Belcher. I don't know. I don't watch the, the show. What do you want from me? Okay, so, um, but this one actually had some value. This one's $27, okay? It's not too bad, not too bad. And this one was in good shape. This one was in the be best shape of the one not in the uh, box. And then, of course, we have our Office Pop, and this one is $30. I do have this one, but again, I said I have the specialty edition one. So so this is, a, this is a cool one. So hopefully you enjoyed that. The total that we came up with is $78. So it's basically $80. They fluctuate up and down, etc. Um, it wasn't my favorite box by any stretch of the imagination. The top pole is something I already had, but that's, you know, that's just how it works sometimes. And then the Bob's Burger one is, I'm just really not into those. So most likely that'll end up in some sort of a giveaway situation at some point. Um, and then the child one is, is one that I kind of have. It's just, I'm not looking to get every child one. Though. So let me know what you think. Did you think that it was a good box? Um, I was very disappointed it got damaged, which is never a good sign either. So i um, still got my eye out for some mystery boxes. If you know some mystery box companies that you'd like to see me open some boxes from, please put down the comment down below. Uh, what are good places? Smy is my favorite. I've been hard. I've been trying to get some recently, but I'm still checking for them. I've been spending a lot of times with sodas. Me and sodas have been just intimately involved. And by that, I'll let you use your imagination. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to go ahead and tell family and friends um, to come to the channel. We're doing really well. We're almost at 950. We're pushing to get to 1,000 so we can do some really awesome giveaways and give away some really great pops. Um, we're looking at giving away five mystery boxes. And I got to be honest with you. My belief is there are some of those mystery boxes are going to be better than this one that I got right here today. And that's the truth. Thank you for coming, and goodbye from the Bearded Barbarian.